Welcome back, all you game masters. It's the Frank Master here. Welcome back to the Paper Mario Let's Play. Last time we did a lot of cleanup. Cleanup because let's get 100% run. And now in this part, it's everyone's favorite, more cleanup. <laughs> Yay! Just know, probably won't be going to chapter eight for a little while. So uh, just uh, look up in your seats there, because we still got to do some some of the old man side quest. So what? What do you call from this time? Yo. Know, and he asked me, that, that kid dies, we must have beat that evil king bows once and for all. The dear cha children of this village. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess that already takes care of that then. <laughs> so, okay, now we begin the hunt for our good old friend Chuck Quizmo. I don't think he's here. I wouldn't expect he's here. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Okay, and now we get our good old friend for our good old buddy Chuck Quizmo and finish up some of the quizzes there. Cause we still got a lot of quizzes to do. We ain't even we ain't even close. Well, let's look at those fin that. Goodbye, let's look at those fin. So I guess they're in a I can't exactly cut either row because it's gonna be a little choppy if I do so. Especially when I find Chuck Quizmo like who is oh like every five seconds it's gonna be very uh choppy editing, so might as well spend this time. What is the name of the character who joined you at the Tour of Rose Fortress? That, that'll be a uh, Bumbet. Correct! You are quickly answered 16 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, so long for well to meet again. Yep, all this stuff. Yep, it's been a lot of that happening. <laughs> Four more I don't think we have that much okay I'm okay, game of course I still got a lot more left because I kind of ignored him for the main main journey because of that I now guess I have the price of continuously continuously hunting for him and then I got then after this I'm probably gonna grind grind for money so I can go pay off the one dude uh, and down to town so I can get all the star pieces and badges from him and then begins the all around the goes around the world cleanup which I'm hoping, since I did a nice thorough search, I won't be that much many, many more left. But you can never, you can never know. You can never, you can never, you can never truly know until you look, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that that that'll be happening. I mean, I'm hoping this week I get the chapter eight, maybe. Who knows? Uh. There could be a good chance, depending how well I spend my time, which I hope uh, is good enough. There is still a lot to do, but if we didn't do it at enough pace, we should have it all done. I'm curious though. Might as well. I mean, since it doesn't here, might as well check and see uh, how many uh, star pieces I'm at and how many more I need to get. I mean, I know I'm still probably like. I mean, like, I'm gonna have right now. 36. Okay, that's like I got, like got a lot from the old man. And of course, Chuck Quizmo as well, but yeah. Alright, so I guess I can talk about uh, my Mario RPG experience, I suppose, during this time. So it almost. I mean, I already talked about the story of Paper Mario in the last Mega, mega Cleanup, but my Mario experience actually didn't really start with Paper Mario. It actually started with the Mario and Luigi franchise. When I got, when, when I got my DS when it was still pretty new. Uh, I was like around like 2008. I got my I got my DS in 2007. Yeah, I I like it was 2008. I'm not entirely sh sure though. I mean, 2008 is when I start uh, growing my my li DS library, a bunch of uh, licensed games that you probably do not probably never heard of. Right, 76, uh, 160. Okay, we at least got less than less than 100 to go. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> We're still alive to do a trick. Yeah, but I was, but yeah, I remember before my birthday, I saw a commercial for Mario Luigi's Bowser Inside Story, and uh, I was thinking, hey, that game looks pretty cool. Maybe I can. Maybe I, I'm starting getting the Mario. Might as well give that one a shot. And I got that along with uh, our three, two other games for my birthday. Uh, one of them was a Scooby Doo game, which I hardly remember. I'm surprised, but I still do. <laughs> Not that I didn't hate it, it's just that it's been, a long, it's been like a very long time since I last played that game. 
I don't remember having too bad of memories of the game. I hundred percent it a couple times, so it has to count for something. But at the same time, uh oh, there he is. Quiz! Well, let me just do this quiz real quick. Here we go, Chuck Quizmo. Alright, let's see what kind of question he asked for this time. Question! What color is Vezzo's hair? I believe it's red. Correct! Let's see. And, uh... I got... I forgot the other game was. I think it was... A math game. Because uh, parents were also very, very lent by education. Education when I first got the DS. <laughs> like, you better play the Yeah, I do this. DS game, you do it right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm entirely sure. But the only one I really vividly remember are those two. Because I have nostalgic memories for a said Scooby Doo game. And, uh, and uh, Bowser's My Story became my favorite Mario and Luigi game in the franchise. Those are some good contenders out there. And, of course, in the story, next up here, Mario. You know, I already told the story about that. After that, my experience now goes to, uh, I got Dream Team when it came out, around 2013. Along my 3DS, and... Uh, I also got Parts in Time, too, from my own birthday, my own birthday money, you know, I, I got. Wasn't really that fond of, uh, Parts in Time, I mean, didn't hate it, but at the same time, wasn't really something I was fully invested in. <laughs> but I did like Dream Team a lot, it's one I still come back to play, a time, from time to time. I was like, uh, then the Wii U... Of course, got the Wii U, and uh, I noticed the other consoles that it's not only seen uh, Game Boy Advance games, and one of them was Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I was like, hey, I played the others, why not give this one a shot? I played it, and I liked it. It was, it was, it was, it was a really great game, I really do enjoy playing it. The thing is, I just kind of like, uh, I kind of like Bowser and Sora a little bit more, not because it's not besides nostalgia factor, but also because just. Uh, about inside the story, this kind of hit me in a way a little bit differently than uh, a first quiz. Quiz! Yeah, okay, sure, I'll try. The question. Question! How many star spirits do you have to save? Uh, seven. Correct! <clears throat> okay. Yeah, 18. Alright, we still got plenty more to go. I like to say it was 60, but I'm probably wrong. <laughs> anyway, I went back to I was like, like, Bowser and Story just hit me, hit me, the game, the gameplay and story and aesthetics just kind of hit me in different way than, uh, what, uh, Superstar Saga did. And, but, I mean, and also part, also, also that includes, uh, Dream Team as well. <clears throat> Uh, then, oh look, oh look, it's all, all the way back here, aren't we? Cooey, is everyone favorite? Twiz Matter, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try a quiz? Jeez, this guy, this guy, this guy's gonna be off, off the jars with me. What's the name of the early Koopa Troopa who always asks for errands? Koopa Coots. Oh, Old Koop! I love to call him Old Fart in vacation. Koopa Crap, Koopa Crap. What are you doing now, Koopa Crab? <laughs> I forgot to these questions. <laughs> um, okay. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, and after that, I then went on to, uh, uh I've already talked about the Paper Mario story about the games, getting Sucker Star and all that stuff, and, and I, then I just noticed later on in the 3DS lineup that, uh, Mario and Luigi is going to part up with Paper Mario, like, really? Oh, look, and our, <laughs> look, he's being awfully generous to me this time. Quiz, cool, everyone here, Master Quiz, we'll try Quiz? Let's go to the question. These people, he's being awfully generous with me. How many bombs besides the moment were in present in the deal of Koopa for the fortress? That was more than four. Probably eight. That yeah, was probably four, wasn't it? We well, only got three tries. I, I, don't, I don't remember. That was like such a long time ago. <laughs> oh, this is again. That's what they always say. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, then Wild, Wild Paper Jam. I liked it more in Sucker Star. I liked it more parts of time. But it just, I mean, I liked the game, don't get me wrong. It's just that it didn't really give me all of that invested, if you know what I mean. Like, 
I liked what I played, but it's not. But it's kind of for like a more one and done ordeal. Like I'll probably go back and play it again sometime soon, maybe. I'll have to do like a like a nice Mario and Luigi or, or retrospect or something like that. But just something about it just didn't really stick with me, and uh, because of that, I just couldn't find full enjoyment in the game. And after that, I got Color Splash for Wii U, which I like. I understand that story. I didn't borrow with the remakes of uh, Mario Luigi because they just seemed like quick crash grabs. I didn't. I glad I did. I did not hear many good things about those remakes. Like, ooh, bullet dodged. And I am playing the Origami King because it's a new refreshing game. Hopefully, hopefully it returned to form. <laughs> I mean, no, no promises, <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> but uh, but I do hope. Uh, at least Origami King is some form of fashion or return to form, because... Now, let's say... I mean... Okay, let's try this again. Quiz! Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. Yeah, it's probably four, isn't it? Yeah, it was four. Okay, I should... Why did I... Why was I so pretty rotten? You could have answered 20 so far. Look next time. Alright, uh, anyway. <clears throat> uh. Thanks for the lunch part? Nah. <sighs> no, wait, I'll wait for the lunch, of course, no. Uh, but. If I were gonna put all of the Mario RPGs that I've played, excluding remakes, because I don't like. I don't use that to include remakes. Those, uh. Those. I mean, I'm, I might do, like, lists. Like, if I try, like, making a list of games I like. Order, I usually don't include ports or remakes because. It's pretty much the same game, only which is a few enhancements. So if I were to make a list out of uh, all period, all Mario RPGs I've played, oh yeah, I also played a, I also was past fe February my, also a uh, first quiz, quiz. Pushing. Where is the house of the Explorer Colorado? Oh, I'm not taking a good look here. Okay, fine. Alright, 21. We are still far, far away. But yeah, if I were to make a list of the game, if I have all the games, it's gonna remakes that I, of all RPG, my RPG I've played, I probably should mention, like, I'll get to that for a minute, but I'll get to that story, I guess, in also in episode 2, because we have time. About my, uh, S about, about my, uh, SNES, uh, my SNES binge, uh, or should I say SNES RPG binge, <laughs> where I played, uh, some, some of the most well-styled RPGs in the SNES and see why they were so well-styled, I mean, well, well known, I should probably do better, better terminology, but if I were to rank them, I would say, let's see, there's, uh, there's five Paper Mario games, and there's, uh, let's see, one, there's five, uh, Mario Luigi titles. So that's out, out in... T Donatelli Circus Star, because it sucked. <laughs> There's no and zips, or buts about it. There were not any parts in time, because I just didn't really find myself that invested in the game, and because of that, I don't really plan my see myself revisiting this game any time of first quiz. Quiz! Is that my favorite quiz under Chuck Quizmo? Wanna try the quiz? Alright, well, that's a challenge just again. Question! What is the destination of the train which supports from Toad Town? Same station. Yeah, not right. It's right for it. That's pretty simple. So some of these answers are pretty simple. As long as if you play the game and pay attention, you probably most of these are right, but anyway. So, number nine, Turner Time. Number eight, be Paper Jam, because I liked it more than what Parts of Time and Chris had to offer. However,. I still don't really find myself that invested in as mo as mo that that much more invested in the game as I was a part was in the other fran other ones. I was more invested just but wasn't fully into the game. And then that that's number eight. So number seven will be Color Splash because I feel like it was the better sticker star. 
It just the more enhanced stickers star. <clears throat> and I just I like some things better in the game compared to what Sucker Starter off, but at the same time, why? <laughs> Quiz. Quiz! Let's go with it. Yeah, that's another question. Yeah, that's a, that's a question. Question. What is the name of the fellow who sells badges in Toe Town? Oh, Ralph. Let's see. Well, I don't really know his name, but Proslim Nation here ain't Merlo or Colorado, so. <laughs> 23. Alright, well, we still got ways to go. Okay. So, number 7 is a car splash. Number 6 will be Super Paper Mario. I liked its story a lot. I, I feel like Super Paper Mario had the best overarching story of all the RPGs. All of them. <laughs> However, it's the first one, the first Super Mario that tried the experiment. And, well, I feel like the experiment in Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario fared better than uh, Sticker Star. At the same time, it still wasn't as up to quality as the others. <laughs> because of that, its its quality kind of diminished. Number five will probably be uh, Dream Team. I like that game a lot, but uh, but it's like the other games better. It's just that it's just that kind of case scenario. Uh, number four, I'll take uh, this game, of course. Quiz is everyone's favorite quiz winner, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? And let's go to the question. Question: What treasure did Boo steal from Star Battle Steam? All right, the Star Rod. Wait, did I miss one? Hold on. All right, number ten was Sticker Star. Number nine was Partisan Tie. Number eight was Stick was a Paper Jam. Number oh wait, no, I I wait, did I? Number six is Colors. Well, so this car splash number six is Super Paper Mario, number five is Dream Team. That's two. Oh yeah, I did miss. Oh, hold on. sorry, sorry. Let's just take it all back. Because, sorry. Num. Uh, it's actually eleven instead of. I, I forgot. I included Super, Super Mario Super Mario RPG as well. well. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So number eleven is Sticker Star. Number ten is Partisan Tie. Number nine is uh, Paper Jam. Number. Eight is Color Splash. Number seven is Super Paper Mario. Number six is Dream Team. Number five is a uh, Superstar Saga. I mean, Superstar Saga. Like I said, I, I like the game. It was a good game. Just oh, oh. it was like yo, it's like you got people in that place. Quiz. Uh, yeah, number four. Uh, number four is number five is Superstar Saga. Number four is this game. What is the color of the roof of the house? Make sure the void where you're going to the radio. If I remember correctly, that was. Yeah. That was red. Now it's yellow. Actually, no, I'm wrong. But yeah, if I were to go off the list, uh, okay. So number, I number four, I, number four is this game. I have too many nostalgic memories with this game to put any lower. <laughs> I really do love this game. It's just it's archaic in some design. Number three is Mario RPG. That yeah, was blue. Okay. Oh, I know, but for the bit, I can easily answer the question for you. Yeah, number three is Super Mario RPG. I love what I played. However, the R2, I just have way too many nostalgic memories for. I can see why a lot of people liked it. But I just like the R2 better. <laughs> Number th and this is where it gets tricky for me. Because these two I have very... I mean, not nostalgic memories, but I like... I have nostalgic memories with one of them. And I really thoroughly enjoyed the other. Number two is Bowser's Inside Story for me. Because number one, Thousand Year Door... The best smart RPG, the quintessential, the standard, I thought. I mean, I love Peter Ma Ma Mauser's high story and, and, and style. The first quiz! But Thousand Year Door's darker tone, it's writing. Thousand Year Door has probably the best writing out of all the Mario RPGs. What does, who does Cooper Mario as? Colorado. He just buys me, Mario! Alright, we're getting 
And I mean, I'll I'll spare all my thoughts from Dodging the World when I eventually get to the game, which will be sometime in the future. I'm not entirely sure when. Probably not sometime soon, because do you think? I mean, despite how simple they are, they're still, at the end of the day, RPGs, long, meaty adventures. And, not for nothing, but these things drain. And, after this, I'm probably going back to a platformer, like, probably Mega Man next. <laughs> because, I want something a little more simpler so I can get my mind off it, because I'm going to be ready for Origami King when that comes out. i got to play that and get my thoughts and opinions on, on it, and see if it's returned to form, or just suck, or just, uh... Sucks. I always, I always don't know. I don't remember what the first school is. I don't even talk about it right now. Who is? But uh, that's a thing. I, not Paper Mario. It's like, it seems like every other franchise. If the experiment doesn't work, what does Burly Dark Power Post specialize in? Casting spells. That's the weird thing about Paper Mario. I notice is that in most Nintendo franchises, they do they try. Most of their franchise they experiment from. And if it doesn't work, if it doesn't pan out, they go back to form. Mario, there's Super Mario Sunshine. Regardless of what you think about the game now, but back then it was not really well received. The voice act. So, where to go? Next game was New Super Mario Bros. DS. For the, the new not port game. And people, for the most part, liked it. I mean, I liked it. I mean, for the best in the new series. Quiz! Uh, was in Zelda, uh, Skyward Sword wasn't re wasn't really received all that well. Who haunts on the cop that Jedi ruins? Uh, uh, Pokey Mummy, Mummy Man, Mummy Man. <laughs> What's like a Mega Man villain? <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, uh, and of course, when Zelda Skyward Sword, like I said, regardless of your opinion in the game. It wasn't really well received, so uh, it goes back to work. Uh, Legends of the Ocarina of Time. I like said, I don't like I, for 3DS. Like I said, I don't like to include ports, but that was the next game line in the lineup, and people were really like that port for for white for white here. I mean, I, I liked it. Uh, Metroid Prime. Oh, okay. I'm not sure where Metroid is right now since of the face off the earth. Metroid Prime will go first. Quiz! Metroid Prime 4 maybe will come out, but who knows? So I'm not going to see. But send, but basically how it sounds like it's a return form after a... Uh, like when he takes Arkansas to Merlo. From what I gathered, because how weird, how unpositively received other M was... They're going back to a work, which is the Prime series, and they're going back to Prime 4, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know, I mean, that's still in a weird limbo. We're not entirely sure exactly where that's at. Moment. But, you got a point. For most Nintendo franchises, if they, they try to do experiment once. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Who is? They try to do experiment once. And if it doesn't pan out, they usually go back to what worked. Mission Girl Ruins, Ali Mustafa. Help me, help me, brother! Lawn live the king. Alright, but in all seriousness, in all seriousness, though, uh, okay. And anyway, but like I said, the, the thing is, if it doesn't work the first, if it doesn't work, the experience will work. They just immediately go back to what they'll work. Oddly enough, though. Paper Mario seems to be the only one they, that doesn't. Now, one could argue because of the fact that after Super Paper Mario, uh, Nintendo changed uh, developers from Paper Mario. You can argue that, that's fine, but here's the thing. Uh, uh, Super Paper Mario it was an experiment. They tried to do something a little different. I mean, I personally was okay with the game, but at the same time, it wasn't as well received as Out of Your Door. And or the or original for that matter. Who is? So, uh, I mean, if you, we know this already. If it doesn't work out the first time, they just immediately go back to what work. One who loves cookies to make lemon cake. What do you have to give? Her besides lemon cake, I believe it's cake mix. Yeah. Uh. 
And uh, so, uh, so for next few bar game, uh, what people were said it was it go back to turn the form. I was surprised it was going on the 3DS on the console, but at the end of the same time, the Wii was still like, right at the time it came out, was still fresh and new. And usually your Mario games come somewhere mid-life of the, the cycle. So, Silver Star comes out for 3DS. Wasn't received well. <laughs> I'm, I'm inclined to agree with them. That, that game sucked. It's probably one of the few Mario games I call to be bad. <laughs> like, holy shit, did you get any worse than that? So, okay, so you go off one experiment. Didn't, I mean, it wasn't terrible. It, it didn't go terrible, but at the same time it wasn't uh, award-winning either. So, you go back to what works. The award-winning style that Dajin Door is established. When well, not established, more built upon, per se. Okay, then, okay, so, I guess, I'm okay with their experiment. That's fine. If it, if it laws, it works. It didn't work. It was the worst it was received the worst way imaginable. And so logically, okay, so the first bit didn't work. Okay, let's try a different one. Oh, that didn't work either. Well, I guess at that point it tells you, your French, let's go back to work. People over the thousand year door. Let's go back to what thousand year did. Thousand year did. Thousand year door did. Fuck me. A quiz! And so, and logically, when we heard one come for the Wii U, Karma Splash, we were like hoping, who won the following line? Who won the following lies? Hopefully. Yeah, no, okay, but. Sorry, I didn't think about that one. So, and Karma Splash comes out, and it plays like Sicker Star. Granted, it's much better than how Sicker Star fared, but at the same time. But at the same time. It wasn't really as well received. Now people are, can argue, and that's fine. That, that, I'm completely fine with that. If you like, if you like Circus Star and Cars Flash, that, that's, that's fine with me. I mean, I personally didn't like the games myself, but if that's a game you like, then who am I to tell you you shouldn't like it? But I'm just saying, as for the majority, it wasn't really well, well received. <laughs> so now Origami, Origami King coming out, it's looking like a mixture of both the Circus Star and the original formula. Which I'm not entirely sure that's the system we should go. Quiz! And. Huh. <clears throat> Question is, why the booze? The ghost. <laughs> the sheets! And. Well, I have my hopes for Origami King. At the same time, I have very, very severe doubts. I mean, it was my initial reaction from the first part wasn't, uh, wasn't clear enough. I have, I am very torn. And how it's looking more to be like an hour sticker star formula, I'm more like, what the hell? Of course, that was before I found about Bug Fables, and when I played that game, I was like, where was this game? This is the Nintendo game. This is definitely Mario game we all asked for but never got. So Moon Surprise Games like, well, I popped the big boy pants and said, okay, you know what? We'll do it. And they did. It was awesome. And I was like, I'm crying, Nintendo. You don't want their franchise. Why can't you do it with Paper Mario? I don't care if, if different developers or not. They should, if, you, if you're going to sign a developer team to work on a game, okay? If you're, who is? If you want to uh, <laughs> sign a developer team and play the main game, and let's say it's what what appears when you hit the what what the living uh the uh, bump. Okay, so yeah, say you like the franchise, and so say you like your company and have well-established franchise such as Paper Mario, and you're in the old developer developing team decides just to hang up and just and the developing team is employed working out after the after Super Paper Mario wasn't was had very mixed feelings. Okay, so you hire another new developer. Now, if I were a true business company about well, hiring a new developer, I would make sure that the, the the people who are working on the game know full well what kind of game they're working on, how does it work, uh, why you sh ah, sorry, hold on. 
Uh, what worked? What? Why do people? What made people love the game that came when it came out so much? Quiz. And yeah. Uh, and how can we build off that? How many lemons? What fruit drops we need? Oh, that'd be lime. Okay, and obviously, and after the first two, I can safely say I can safely say that the developer, new developers, have no idea what made a pair of Mario so good in the first place. How about this boss for like three minutes, huh? Was, it's going a little bit. Let's get a little bit faster. The old man's cycle. Maybe I'm only traveling from certain places to places. Not while I'm taking that much time on the Koopa guy. And here's the thing. That that's just how it works. You know what? I, I implore them maybe hire for Moose Park Games because uh, I'm not sure about the air company. I heard I didn't really hear that much positive things, and I didn't I don't remember their name either. But they knew how what people what liked the Paper Mario game. They saw what Thousand Year Door did and built off what and built off what it did. And though I still find Thousand Year Door be the better game, it at the very least told me that there can be good Paper Mario games. You just gotta have the right developing team to do so. Who is? And but I know at this point it's a pipe dream. I mean, I'll still play it, hoping for the best. But at this point, I just I, I mean, I'll enjoy. I'll give it a chance. I'm not I'm that guy person. First, what's the name of the strange person? Says uh, Cheat Rippo, <laughs> Chet Rippo. This <laughs> yeah, that's his name. Yeah, don't talk to him. He changed your stats around, but that's something you really don't want to do unless you're going for that five hit point run. I never tried it, and I don't really feel like I should. I feel like I want to. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, there's some. There could be. I heard them make different runs for this game. I never really tried any of them. I just. I mean, I also didn't try representing most either. I did. I did. I represented this game once. It was a gruesome. Uh, that was a gruesome weekend. No, we, no, we, no. Not, I'm just, I should not say weekend. Weekends. It took multiple weekends, and until it was up to up to this playthrough, I have never done that since. I mean, I'm not. Like, I mean, when it comes to RPGs, I don't usually tend to 100% uh, them because of, because I know the the base unless the base game isn't is, isn't really fulfilling my gaming experience, then I might as well go for it. But if it already is, then there's really no point for me to the post game. Unless I'll come back later and do it when I, because I'm already, because at that point I'm already fulfilled an RPG. Is that the same like, say like in the Sonic Hedgehog game or, or or Mario or Mario 3D game where like the base game just isn't really fully fulfilling? Oh, 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 Bomb. <laughs> she dances. I see a bomb of that a lot. I don't mind that. I mean, one day I probably will try a five heart run. It won't be a hundred percent. Oh no, God, it will not be a hundred percent. But I don't know. Maybe for the chant. Maybe for the game. Maybe for game train. <laughs> who knows? I mean, who know? Whenever we get to that game in the future, if we ever get to that game. Because oh oh whoa, whoa, okay okay hello, hello there who is because I'm, I mean I was talking to Josh lately I mean he's willing to try out many of our franchises and he's kind of what does Gourmet guy like cake <laughs> he likes Koopa I like <laughs> wow this this game already knows about gay agenda this game's like uh, twelve years before I became I became norm jeez <laughs> Mo Mo he was. Why was breaking boundaries over here? <laughs> oh, but all serious, no seriousness, though. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I was there back in the day when I was like, I like to see my dad play games. I was like, always starry eyed, like want to watch. Who is? I want to watch him play. And I know Josh. Once I told since, since I pretty much continue. Uh, knocking your ear about, off about the main games I played. Who's the second player in your party? Cooper. I mean, of course. I mean, I'm, I mean, Steven has his strains. I mean, we all heard him talk about. I mean, I have video games, and Steven has his strains. We speak different languages that none of the witch can understand. 
I mean, but I'm trying to make an, I mean, we're trying to make efforts to understand that. I mean, I'm no, I mean, I can say as for sure I know more about trains when I'm around him. Him than I thought I, I, thought I ever would. <laughs> Granted, I mean, with then, that's still not a whole lot because I'm not the in-train enthusiast. And uh, I can say the same for Steven. I mean, I'm not entirely sure because I never really asked him. Nor if I quizzed him. I don't think I ever will, though, because that just sounds uh, petty. Something I don't really feel like putting my friends through. But, uh, what else, what else can I talk about during this, uh, quiz compilation? Where are I still going from the desert? Oh, the abandoned. Nomad Demos. Now you have 10 points to ever, 10, 10 internet points, whoever can answer that, answer that correctly. Okay, hopefully 20 more. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was 50 or, no, I know, 50 is a amount of, of uh, recipes. Okay, let's see. What have I done recently? Well, I mean, I mean, it was previously it was the 4th of July. And I did, my parents finally saw him, him with it for the first time. That was something. <laughs> Who is? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not the, I'm not really the big musical kind of guy. I didn't realize it would be the musical. What is the name of the star spirit who can use stars for? Might be a Skolar. Alright, but. I'm not the big kind of musical guy. I mean, granted, I'm not really. Not a whole lot of male demographic fits it. I mean, there are some videos to do. I'm not, the, I'm not saying there aren't. I'm saying for the male demographic, it ain't really musicals. How I to is one that I did grow to like. Not because of the characters, not because of the flower setting, because I can... It was music. I mean, I, I like, I, I'm a guy who likes good music. I mean, of course, I can, anyone can pretty much say that. Like, I'm a guy, I mean, hey, I like music too, said someone in the comments randomly. <laughs> Wheeze. Okay, now let's see what's going to talk. Well, I guess I can talk about our address to your pain and since the post office, uh, letters. Handbills. <laughs> Blackmail! Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, how many are we at? 42, okay. We're getting places. I, If my prediction is correct, we only need 18, 18 more, which... We, we've been, for the most part, flying by these. Fast, fast, more in Koopa Koopa. The problem is there's a lot more of this than a Koopa Koot side quest because I didn't really notice any of Chuck Quizmo along my path. During my whole entire run through of every chapter, which is something I probably should have not done, because <laughs> it just saves a lot more time than this. Like I said, let me surprise these things take over an hour, because it's an RPG. RPGs take over ever two hundred cents. See, uh, not there. I guess I can talk about the RPG bench. Okay, so uh, around Christmas of two thousand. I think it's like 2018. I looked. Yeah, it was 2018, was it? Oh, yeah, it was 18. It was 18. I asked for a lot of things that year. As it's in one of them was, I'm on the phone, which is only is not in Toad Town. Shop, station, mayor's house. Yeah. What's it doing? S in it. Alright. Uh, Alright, so. I got to the Toad. Uh, for Christmas, 2018, my parents gave me a. Uh, Nintendo, the SNES, uh, I meant, I, what's the term? Classic, classic console. With all, what, and I know, my first, my first day, I didn't notice all the plethora of RPGs it has. Like, Super RPG, Earthbound, and Final Fantasy VI, Secret Mana, all that stuff. The quiz! The first game I played on it. What, goof, what kind of book did you drop? A cooking book. <laughs> I never even got name once. <laughs> the first game I played, played on, the, on the SNES Classic Edition was, believe it or not, Earthbound. And not because... Well, because... Not because just like, But to me, Fox, Undertale was inspired by this, or... Uh, or just for sake of the call following, you know, because I was actually... Before we got to the thing, I was kind of intrigued in Earthbound's weird zany style. Kind of like a fuzzy door in a sense. And so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Played it, I liked it. I don't, no, I'm not, who am I? 
<laughs> IQ Testa. Sir Quisby. I mean, you say that all the time. You apparently answered fourth question for a look next time. Okay, sure. Okay, no, I'm not gonna lie because he asked that. I thought he was gonna. I, I thought that was the last question. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, been a long time. Uh, yeah, I played Earthbound. I absolutely love that game. I'll save my full thoughts on it when I get moment you play it. They'll probably play Earthbound beginnings first, which that should be. Which I didn't hear me good things about that game, but you know what? Here's you know what? I'm gonna play any game. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna give any game a shot, even some bad ones. Except big rigs, because I already know what I'm, what I'm getting, getting with that one. <laughs> I mean, for my whole entire life, I was to always told to avoid five certain ga uh, five certain games. Every single CDI game, all CDIs of Mario, Zelda, doesn't really matter. All CDI games, big rigs, Superman 64. Oh hey, oh hey, or ET and Sonic 06. Who is? Those are the five games I've been. Well, five games. Where do I show up? In Towns and Villages. And J. I have a video saying it was in black and white. It might have been 50, actually. I guess I'm going to find out. Um, I'm curious. How many, how many star pieces do we have now? 66! Yeah, that's a... That's a hefty number of them. <laughs> okay, Dan, like I said, I played... Uh, but anyway, back to, the, uh, back to my discussion with the uh, Mario... The RVP, RVP Avenge. Unfortunately, because of certain events in my life, uh, I... Right, right at the time, I was, like, getting to my first job at McDonald's. What sucked. And, and I was right at the time when I started giving me some hours. Not only that though, but game train was also taking place that that time around another time too. Just a lot of factors kind of made me stop playing it. I mean, not because I hate the game. No, 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 no. I love Earthbound. It's I love its zany nature. I love the graphics. I love the I love, I love Earthbound. It's just that I a lot of things like Luigi Man Three. What's the name of the plant that grows in J Jungle and blows out stars? What do I call it? Trumpet plants. Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't remember. I don't remember. Just keep it going. I just, a lot of things happened that time. I mean, a lot, like, a lot of things happened. And I just kind of just... It wasn't until, like, fall of last year until, until I got... Eventually, eventually got back to Earthbound. And I did wish it didn't take me so long. But I did go back to it. I finished it, and I glad I did. Because yeah, I love the endgame. There, that I say my next, uh, my next Nintendo uh, RPG I should play, Quiz will be a uh, Super RPG because that's the only R my RPG I have not really played outside the remakes. <laughs> what color was Lear in the Yoshi's Village? It was good, pretty good. It was fat. Is fat the color? Yeah, like Forty-three minutes. Hope this will take. Hopefully, this will not take as long as. Uh, that's, uh, oh, man. Hopefully this will not take as long as, uh, Koopa Koot, which was over an hour. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, yeah, definitely more RPG, because it's more RPG for SNES. I mean, I, I liked it, I liked it, but I liked it, it was... And so I saw people. I saw people. Why well, was very well received and very loved. I just like Bowser. I just felt like Bowser Inside Story and Bowser Door just hit a different pitch for me. That I just quiz. That I just didn't think Mario RPG lived up to. Well, question: What's the name of the ugly man who tells fortunes to Toad Town? It was Merlon. Give it to moi. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I, I played the hell out of uh, what I played out hell out of that game. It was it was fun. 
So I decided for my next RPG, I will play Final Fantasy VI. I mean, okay, let's put it perspective. The only Final Fantasy game I have ever played before that was the first one. And I didn't like... <laughs> I felt like it was asking. I mean, I know for I know it was old NES style. I can understand that. Who is? But I feel like of all the NES games I ever played, that one asked a lot more out of me. Even more than even Virtual Legend of Zelda. Let me color the Yoshi's. If, did you see me? Or what are fudge? Or six. Yeah. It, so. Keep mind though, then I played Final Fantasy VI. And I was like, what have I been missing out on? <laughs> Holy shit, what have I been missing out on? Because I had not really played a real RPG until then. Like, Final Fantasy VI was my first real RPG. I was like, what have I been missing out on? <laughs> I absolutely loved Final Fantasy VI. It became my favorite RPG in the SNES. Easily, easily, easily. The story, the sense of story, the skill, the fact that it didn't ask that much from too much, too much knowledge. Let's... Who it is? It didn't really ask that much, as much as the first one did. I mean, it still asked you to be somewhat competent. How would you? The whole Yoshi kid and Yoshi describe sushi. Bossy. But yeah, I was like, what am I missing out on? I mean, and now I'm hopefully going to play Final Fantasy VII, but then again, a bunch of other games. I bought Final Fantasy VII for the Switch. Hoping to get more into it, but at the same time, unfortunately, by that point, I was kind of RPG'd out. <laughs> so I took a break so I can play simpler games. That's also around the time when I uh, began doing stuff for this channel. Because, and uh, I was playing more simpler games, and of course, Pokemon, of course, like, who is? Of course, Poke, of course, I was like, hey, you know what, I saw a play through Pokemon, might as well start Pokemon, Pokemon Adventure, first generation. I'm post office, uh, Merlin's house. I know a stopper station, shopper station there. Eventually, I'll say I've answered all the questions. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and now that I tell that, what else can I talk about during this time of age? Who is? Oh, well, I guess since it's this is this uh, since Chuck Whisper always remind me a lot of that Mario Kart character. What kind of card do you get when you beat Lee at the dojo and at the first? I think it was the third degree. I want to say that was the second degree. It was the second degree. My mistake. Okay, well, serious no, seriousness no. Uh, yeah, since Chuck Whisper always kind of remind me of that Mario Party character, uh, the host there. I must have my my Mario. Wait, no, we already talked about it. I don't know. I recorded that video like a around, around uh, last week. Well, you don't know what time it was, and uh, we, I don't feel like doing videos, so. Like, it wasn't the first, it wasn't third degree, it was second degree. <clears throat> I was mistaken because of, I fought the Master. master okay, I fought the Master three times. Alright, second time. Second degree. Yeah, okay, I, I don't know what I was thinking. We are not done yet. <laughs> uh, you know what? I still would do this over uh, getting all the blue points in Sunshine. So, there's that. I probably pissed off a lot of people when saying that, but you know what? I don't care. I know what kind of games I can play. <laughs> Great, I don't hate Sunshine, but at the same time, that's the. Uh, besides land. For 3D Land, it's the Mario 3D Mario game I revisit the least. Once again, for I best off a lot of people been saying that. Time right now. This might be just a long scoop because I because there's just so many fucking questions. 
Let me, let me, let me start, probably start watching my hat right now. 73. I am breaking back here. In a good way. Who is? Man. I could talk about McDonald's in my first job there. What color do you put the brooch that people can wear? The brooch. Oh, blue. Ah, draw them with a loop there, aren't you? Nice, nice to have your chest every five seconds. Mario and the misogynist. No, Mario the pervert. Oh, man. Uh, there's so many. I mean, I know I talk about a couple of them around Game Train. Game Train, ugh, McDonald's. I. Look, let's be fair. That summer of 2018, I was stressed looking for a part time job. I applied to a lot of places and not, and barely any of them called back. In fact, when one did, it was Giant Eagle. I applied to Giant Eagle, they called back, and they never came back to me. I tried talking, I, I tried talking to them to see if I can get called back, but I never got any confirmation. And so after a while, I got, I applied McDonald's and they hired me. <sighs> Looking back at it, if I knew the kind of place that was, I would probably would not have accepted that job. Quiz! Which one? Yeah. Oh boy. The only thing I tolerate there, question, who gave the Miracle War to the Thunderfields? It was... Lily. Okay, the only back here, no one will I know now. No one I know now. I would not have accepted that job off. The only I tolerated there was the co-workers. Everyone that worked with me, that job, pretty much either job as well, or just thumbed me around. But I just didn't really like McDonald's at all. Everything else about them just sucked ass. The conditions, oh boy, the conditions. I worked as a fry cook there. Yeah, that was pretty much a starting job. What more do you want? And I cannot tell you the many seven degree burns I got working there. <clears throat> and their associate put pickle on it. I didn't say every co worker was amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to speak shit about anyone. I'm not going to say any names. I wish not to. Quiz! I'm not that kind of person. I'm just saying McDonald's as a whole working there. I get burned constantly. Question What is the name of the like lost her girlfriend? Like a Lulu. Look, I know his own girlfriend. He's not mine. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I hit him. He's six. So cool we are. If if my if if my prediction was correct, four more, hopefully. Let the collection just the same. Okay, okay, so the connection. <laughs> Over here, we'll talk about quiz. Uh, conditions will work. The hours, oh boy, the hours. What do you make the pipe le le lean? Uh, uh, I believe you hit the tree. Of course, you only know that by experimenting. So long, farewell, I'll never meet you again. Maybe. Who knows? It's much as recent, it's much as recent hour. Huh. So, let's look at the hours. So, beginning my job at McDonald's, I only got work one day a week. I gotta say, I just want to get me the... Okay, I, I was... Okay, I, I can't understand why in that logic. Is they want to build up my experience. They want to make me more... Make me somewhat... Compatible with my job. Quiz! And then... And then we can work on game with more hours. And then, question. I'm on the following. Who was inside Club 64? Pop Diva. I'm going to say the composer. And then the composer. Honestly, I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, then after that, I got to get more hours. Unfortunately, I had this guy named, also my name, Frank, and he got fired. 
uh, for what terms he got fired for, I don't remember. Well, so, because that was such a long time ago, but he got fired, and I think because we're supposed to have both the same name, both our names kind of just want to schedule. And I, when I talked about it to him, it took, it took a long time for it to actually work out, but eventually I got my schedule back. And then I went back to work. Everything was fine. He, I, I did my job, and everyone was fine with it. It was after my deed. It was after the, me going. I got VR trip on time. I went back to work. Quiz. So, so, so this is that. Then we know. Then I went back to. Then after a while, it went to May. I'm gonna strike. Is it Pop Diva? Eh, it's Pop Diva. A name so bizarre, it just had to be right. <laughs> Okay, yeah. And then May, they start bombarding me with a lot of hours. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of hours. And then June came around, summertime, and back to one day of work again. And now they're sending me home early. Regardless if I did well the job or not, it's they just sent me home early. They were just screw me on my hours and. I cleared some of my work with co I, I felt like some of my co-workers I work with, they were like that either. co is. At the same time, I mean, I, at one point I tried to protest against it, but they said that you got to send someone home, and I was the one they needed to send home. What you do the following do the shy guys never do? Sing, dance, run. Their arm sank. Their arm sank. And some of my co-workers not having that either. It just, and it was going on for so long to the point where I feel like I just couldn't do it anymore, so I find try to find another job. Fortunately, I could only find one. It was unfortunate. However, because because of my senior year and my mom wanted me to do a sport, and because bowling came around, they decided to let me quit my job at McDonald's, and so I did. Just do the sport bowling for a while. Now I got a new job, which is significantly better. Better. The conditions are much better. I don't get burned every five seconds. In fact, I hardly get burned if I ever get burned at all. <laughs> uh. It wasn't for the one time I got myself my foot ran over with the power jack, I wouldn't find. What's the best for the relationship between Mario and Luigi? Uh, what's wrong with those? There's something you need to know. Uh, what the? <laughs> Don't be too into that. Yeah, hopefully it's the last one. Answered six points far. Good luck next time. And I was born 60. Alright, well. We go until we're done. It's just... Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? I think I'm just probably gonna. I do one more, then we'll call it the end of the video here, so I can at least look up and see any more cool Chuck Quiz was a guy do. The first one's out to him! Quiz! You know what? Could be a good chance to 100. There could be a good chance to 100. I'm on the following. Who is who is found in Starborn Valley? Uh, Ninji. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna call here. So, since this is him, this is him next to a. You correct me. All right. So, thank you all for watching, Master the Freak Master here. It's been Paymar Less playing with Team Master's game out in the next video. So, I'll see you guys then.